YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Boss Daily 91 and channels like this and this channel. We have accused people who just performed in the Baca Bros land tournament yesterday. So I don't know why we ever really thought the land tournament was going to be able to prove anything because it doesn't because the way of the view of the land tournament, it doesn't really show what we're looking for. So my thought process was being we were going to be able to compare, right, how they perform in land on a controlled environment with PCs that aren't going to be able to be cheated on or devices, right, versus when they go back home and cheat. So nobody ever said that these players weren't good, right? But just because they perform in a land tournament doesn't mean when they go back home that they aren't cheating there. So who are the Baca Bros, right? We got Lucky, Shamu, and then we got Repulse. These dudes are heavy endorsers, endorsers of Diaz Biffle. And if you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. I don't want to hear anybody talking shit about the ever again, bro. He proved himself today. Long he land. Long land. Long land. Oh, you like it's bot lobbies. Yeah, okay. He's okay. Against okay. The best okay. Of the best B. Say something, B. Tell him what's up, B. Fuck you. <laughs> if you were to ask me, it seems to me like this whole event was staged to clear people's names like Z-Laner, Destroy, Diaz Biffle, the Cash Cows. Now, I remember Z-Laner telling us that we were crazy tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists forever thinking that a whitelist where people are allowed to cheat on on call of duty ever exists right well call of duty came out and told us there is a whitelist they don't tell us exactly what it is but it seems to look with the anti-cheat being here that there is actually a list of people that have been accused who haven't really cleared their names with sketchy accusation ending videos right um it seems that they're still allowed to cheat with the anti-cheat now being live so with that being said zlaner Diaz Biffle, all these guys, these are those guys, and they are the cash cows, like I've always been saying. So they perform good at land, wins a hundred thousand dollars, go back home, still allowed to cheat because they're on the white. These list. are the same people that told us a white list doesn't exist and then retracted their statement. So let's go over here and take a look. And also in this tournament, majority of people in this tournament are um people that have been accused of hacking majority or not so to me it would definitely seem like this was a staged event to try to clear the name clear some names as the anti-cheat rolls out which to me is nothing more than a gatekeeper is to keep these cheaters safe because let's start stop looking at these streamers let's start looking at them as if they're like Activision employees because that's pretty much what they are, right? They hack on the game, keep the game relevant, and Call of Duty does things to protect them and allow it. So, just wild, man. So I have, I've been hit with comments of people saying, "Oh well, this was hosted by Call of Duty." No, it was not hosted by Call of Duty. Okay, it was hosted by the Baca Brothers, which is Rapals and whatever the fuck that dude's name i can't lucky shamu right and tommy and almond the people with land experiment experience win the tournament now i would say diaz biffle is probably the best player out of all the cheaters right so he takes second along with super evan and then d laner and d take third all right aiden <laughs> aiden can't fucking play the game without hacks at all now what we need from these land tournaments moving forward is we need to be able to break down these gameplays. Like we need to be able to watch Diaz Biffle's whole performance, just like we are able to on YouTube. That way we can have a side by side compar comparison because I guarantee this gameplay wasn't the gameplay that you'll see on YouTube along with this one, along with this one this one etc cetera, etc cetera. all right along with this one so it's just funny to see where these guys play so tommy and almond plays first diaz biffle and super evan plays second destroying z laner plays third iceman isaac and war z plays fourth aiden and fifa kill plays fifth huskers and noobs plays sixth crowder and nico plays seventh unrational and tupac Place eighth, Swisherman and Intex, place ninth, Swag and Booyah, place tenth, Baby Pop and Dilster, eleventh, 
Jared and Jay Devise, 12th. Joe Woe, 13th. Jay Smooth, 14th. And Hanaki, 15th. So, you see it. And let's just go take a look at a little bit of clips from this. So what do you mean by there only being one loadout or two? So what happens is when the free loadout comes in, it usually tries to land as close to the edge of the zone near the team that needs it, essentially. So there's five people on one edge. There's going to be five loadouts there. Oh, my God. They just, they just know that they know that we're on the edge of the birth of being able to. This is important. Oh, my gosh. This is one of the top performing teams at the moment. He has to get Z back up if they want to do well in this tournament. Yeah, one team's already down. He's here. They're rotating nope. away. We'll kind of yeah. hear what, what's going on with comms. Get some cat. Watch out for the birth. Nice. What a good move, right? Favorable weapon. Right. Now on board with Aiden. A few kill Aiden down for the count, but they come back from Gooch recovering. Was Likely they finished off whoever they were dealing with because usually they don't res that quickly. Yeah. Yeah, usually in these custom game matches, you get a knock. It's more or less likely the team that knocked you is going to full send and clean it up. And if yeah. FIFA's confident in that res and the road. Now, one thing I want to know about these land tournaments is these are great. I'm glad that they're here because now we see how Warzone's supposed to be played when you're not at home playing on your cheat setups. You see how they're camping and playing strategically and using comms and not just rushing to players that aren't on the fucking UAV or minimap. That's how Call of Duty is supposed to be played. So this, if anything, exposes how these people are hacking even more. So I'm just going to let this play out for a little bit. You guys go ahead and watch this and enjoy this. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, Boston Daily signing out. Peace. Rotation out of the open. Yeah, they definitely came out on top. FIFA now leading with one kill as well. 14 teams remaining. I don't think that number's changed top right with 14. So whoever they wiped saw is Gulag. Yep. Come along pretty well. Yeah, but I, I just cannot wait for the next one. One team just zones. went down. Now 13. And it looks like Resort World's still going to be in play. They're marking a buy and they have enough money. No, they don't. They can get self revive, but I think more of these teams are going in for the UAV. Diaz, the last one aligned Super Evan down for the count. He has one kill under his name, has a loadout in front of him as well. And this is one of those teams that is in contention to obviously take the number one yeah. spot if they have a really good game. So he's got to play a little bit slow to try and get some money here and, and get things working. Absolutely. Destroy oh, now. destroys oh. down. Oh, he was able to get Z up, though. Oh, but he's still in the gulag, so okay, he's in a really great. good spot. He was able to get Z up, got traded out. Destroy wins his gulag. Everything should be good to go. He's going to pop a stim to get away from that situation. Not too sure, um, you know, if there's anyone in that area. Yeah, it's just since the loadout's out in the open. And I think that was where Tommy got his loadout, right? Uh, or is it, am I confusing the part of the map? Marcus. Maybe not, I don't know. But, but I feel like that's kind of where his loadout was too. Nice, and Destroy's able to come out on top. Now, if you're Destroy, are you re-hitting the, the loadout? Or are you going to land on Z and then maybe work into it? Because it's still in zone. It's still in zone. It still feels relatively safe because yes, that's where Z laner just came from. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. It's already top 12. Three teams are out. Yeah, they're doing well. He's excited how Destroy. It seems like Destroy's floating up. He's a little bit parted away from yep. Z laner, so he looks like he's floating, trying to give any information towards Z as possibly. Yeah, because somebody's going to rotate. They're going to rotate, you know? And yeah. then Z might be able to catch him in rotation. Yep. They have the knife in hand using that, and most of these players are either going to be rotating with their knife out in hand, their sub out in hand, and it's because of the mobility boost they're able to get. Significant mobility boost. Yep. Tommy and Almond, they're still in a great spot. Um, obviously, I, I, I picked them as probably like a front runner because you expect them to do really well. Great chemistry as well. So they've been leading the charge kind of like as a sleeper throughout the most of the tournament today. And, and they, 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 all of a sudden, they're at the top of the leaderboard. And it's really in their hands, right? Yeah, they're, it's anybody's game right now. And obviously, the, you know, with the background. Make sure we 100% move with this one all the way to like almost all the way to zone. We're able to see. Is it a street drop on this? Was this yours? It's combat. It's combat. It's mine. Okay, I'm not even taking it. I'm not even taking it. It seems like they're... Let's see their thought process during this rotation. Okay. Nobody's yeah, on the go. UAV right. until the I'm far side. I'm down to and get to zone, bro. I don't want to like yeah. just get caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, for that. Good comms right there. We're going right in the back. Yeah. rotation. Yeah. That could be Z. There's and two it's two going two towards, two two towards two the two two edge two of two capital. Two oh my goodness. Yeah. The buildings are all going to be taken. Take your building now. If you don't have a building within the next two minutes, I'm sorry. I'm going to get caught off rotation. Ten teams now also being left alive. That dropped three teams as well. Aiden and FIFA still in the running with stems in hand. FIFA on top of building. Kind of risky play, huh? To be on top of building in capital. Like I think shot. so. Yeah. He, got, he gets off that really... Oh, he does have self-revive, though. So he and does he has have a UAV, so... 
It's like a really good spot. I think there's still okay. potential okay. for a fire let's sale, let's too. see if we can get a building. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, 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 pop that yeah. UAV. They're talking about getting a building, just like I mentioned, He's marking it on blue. That UAV, yeah, again, no one's going to be ghosted, so they see everyone on the map. Yeah, I like that. And they're like, all right, you know what? Let's right. take this blue building. Be careful with this, bro. And maybe yeah, they yeah. slow down their tempo of play style really and wait really to get a little bit more end game kills. But again, with a circle like this. It's yeah, gonna be shot uh, from those left a solo already. too. It looks like Ori's uh, really split off from this team. Guess. Could be. We've seen some players coming from that. Gonna worry about that. Oh. This you is see that guy on. Yeah. Oh, oh, shots gonna be tossed on FIFA. No armor for him. The bob and weave coming in from him. He's able to get away. Popping some plates. If that guy in the house heard that, he might try and gatekeep us. You wait. Can we take this truck? Us. You could and just drive up to the building. I don't want. Let's just try and yo try and get in this building with me. It's it's two v one. Okay. Where were those two up the hill? They were kind of. See how shot. Fighting. And the blue, big blue buildings. Red dot. Guys, floor loot that is does not have a suppressor. Yeah, it looks like Eden and FIFA are gonna go ahead and um. And I also want to make note. Look at how hard they're trying, and look at how they are only focused on their game screen. Not like back home. Where they are looking to the fucking left. You guys got to give me a fucking break. You got to be kidding me. This is your proof that these dudes aren't hacking. Look at how they're playing. Completely different. This is a dead giveaway. And I hope this continues to happen. Because Exposed Nation, my niggas, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys.